whole day has just been scuppered. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting to think we should just turn up late to places because we've actually turned up on time today for our train to Eager and our train isn't going uh, due to railway works. So there's apparently a replacement bus somewhere around here which goes in 10 minutes. We have no idea where from. So we're not particularly sure we're going to get to where we wanted to go today. Um, 9 o'clock. So we found a bus stop but no information anywhere. I imagine the replacement bus is probably gone now already. So annoying because there's just like nobody around to help and the woman in information wasn't interested in being helpful at all. Not a good start to the day. It really isn't. It's like, what was the point in getting out of bed this morning? The frustrating thing is we actually got here on time and it's just typical. Like, there's always something that will go wrong. Either we're late or today. You know, they're doing railway repairs. Didn't mention that on the Interrail app. So obviously it doesn't keep up to date. The information screen inside doesn't tell you anything at all. You know, the whole day has just been scuppered by some really bad information. But we're going to make a plan because we do want to vlog today. We want to show you some of more of Budapest. Um, so bear with, we'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a new plan and we're really excited about it. First of all, we're going to go home and eat some Maggie bread because we're absolutely starving. And then we're going to take you to see the Shoes Memorial on the Danube River, which is really interesting. Then we managed to get a cruise, which is an hour and a half long on the Danube River, £7.21 each. I'm still expecting there to be something wrong or like they expect a £30 tip at the end, but we're going to check it out. We've booked it. So that's at 12 o'clock. We're really looking forward to that. And finally, we're going to finish the day off in my new favourite place. It's called the Fat Fairy and it does the most incredible cakes and smoothies you could ever wish to eat. So I'm so glad that we're going back there today. into some sort of protest. Fleet was saying that people are protesting all over the world today for climate change and there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people there, young people as well. It was really interesting to see. Got so engrossed in it that we completely forgot about our boat tour. So, really hoping that we're not going to end up being late. Ooh. So we're heading there now. Quite a big boat, 10 of us. I think we're literally passing through a big boat and getting on a little boat. That's so funny. <laughs> started playing and I've just ordered a Prosecco for the equivalent of £1.60 and Luke's just ordered a bit for £2.20. Everybody's now taking me into their lovely meals and we're sneaking bites of our breakfast biscuits. So I just got off the 
boat. It was nice. We spent about six pounds at the end on four drinks. I was expecting it to be extortionate. It was really cheap. It was a nice leisurely trip. There wasn't any running commentary, so you didn't learn anything, but it was... It was nice to see everything from a different perspective going through the river. And now we're going to go to the monument showing the shoes on the edge of the Danube. This monument is a dedication to um, from during the Holocaust where Jews were killed at the side of the river. They were shot into the river. They were told to take off their shoes before they were killed. They're very realistic and it, it makes it all the more raw and... Quite haunting really. Yeah, it is. So we're now on our way to the Fat Fairy, which I think is April's new favourite place in the world. Yeah. Honestly, the cake is amazing. If, if you're in Budapest, definitely head there. It's not one of those things which is overrated. The cakes are as good as they look. yesterday and it was incredible. Right, so there's banana chocolate cake, lemon tart, or Nutella raspberry dessert, which I've had. Or salted caramel tart. Can I have four? Oh, pressure. So this is a big mix of fruit juice. It's definitely got mango, pineapple and mint and it's really delicious. And it's such a great way to get some of our vitamins in because we're not really cramming enough every day. So this is really nice. So yesterday when we weren't filming, I went for the Nutella and raspberry cake and it was to die for. So I was daring and went for a banana and chocolate cake this time and I just hope it's as good. It smells really nice. really good too, really rich, and you can really taste the banana, it's fresh banana. I love it. And that's another one of five a day. We should come here every day. Well, I've gone for the carrot cake classic. Nailed it again. That's three cakes and three 10 out of 10s. So, as expected, that was really, really good. Um, we're gonna head home now, we've had a really good day. Not the day we're expecting, but a good day nonetheless. So um, we'll see you tomorrow. So it's about half 12 in the morning, which means that our worst day traveling is officially over. I said, do you need an ambulance? And he said, yes. And I was yelling frantically saying emergency. My husband, he's sick. I was trying to explain. I felt so alone.